What's up YouTube fam, welcome back to the channel. Today's resale project, we've got a beautiful pair of Samuel Windsor brown suede shoes in. Now these are in for a full executive leather sole and a heel to match. Main reason we're doing this, all the stitches on the sole are broken and it's causing a lot of separation around the front and some of the sides here. So we're just going to be rebuilding these to their former glory. Join us today to see how it turns out. Alright guys, let's begin the breakdown process on these. What we're going to be doing first is removing the old top lift heel block, breaking all the old stitches and then removing that sole. They're a really nice pair of shoes these. It's a shame that the front started to come off because they do still have quite a bit of life left in the soles. But unfortunately, just due to the construction, the stitches are broke and it started to peel up a little bit. Our handy trusty tool here just to help us remove the heel blocks just that little bit easier. And there it goes. Okay, so the old heel block is just stacked fiber board, so we're going to be just getting rid of that and we're going to rebuild up the new heel block using nice stacked leather pieces. So we're just going to take the stippers and pinch off the top of these old nails. We'll remove them at a later stage from inside the heel. All right, so we're just gonna use our heel pry here, popping it in between where the welt and the old sole is, and we're just gonna pry that apart. Allow us to get to the stitches with the knife just that little bit easier. So, done. Alright guys, so first look on the inside. Everything seems to be perfectly fine. Well, no stitches coming loose. Very sturdy. So perfect just to go on a new sole on top of that. Uh, our cork, we're just going to clean out and put a new fresh layer in anyway. Shank seems to be in good condition. And heel area, we're just going to remove all these nails from the inside now. Now 
There's our old nails coming out from the inside. We're just going to use a wee stitch picker here and pick all the old stitches out. Clean up all this area, get it ready for the new stitches to go in. The reason that we do this is once we're putting on the new sole and stitching it on, all these old welt stitches will get in the way of the new ones. They'll all pile up, some of them will rip, some of them will tear. It just won't look good for the final result, so it must, must be cleaned out. Corky time! Got a nice fresh pot here. So one of the main reasons that we use cork in the bottom of the shoe here is to allow the customer's foot to leave an impression and over time it's a nice comfortable fit. Also helps as a barrier, there's a little bit of water resistance if any water gets in between the welt and the sole. It sort of acts as a barrier there so that it keeps the feet dry. Doesn't interfere with that. Now I've seen loads of different stuff being put in in here. Um, you can put pieces of leather in here, that's decent. The leather will also mold to the shape of your foot. But I've seen people stack in newspaper, cardboard, bits of carpet, anything they can really use just to fill it up. To be honest, it's not the best way to do it, but uh, you know, some cowboys out there decide to do whatever the hell they want just to get the job out anyway we'll leave that to dry take about 20 minutes or so then we'll use the machine sand it flush glue it all prep it all get ready for a new sole so just finishing off our first coat of glue on the bottom here corks all dry and being sanded flush on the machine now what i like to do just for extra security is once the first layer of glue is dry just run another layer of glue all around the welt area here just as I say for double security because the first layer of glue tends to get eaten up by the leather just soaks right in so it's always best just to be safe to run another coat on it. The same rules apply for the leather sole here so what I'm going to do is one coat let it dry come back second coat sometimes maybe a third coat just depending how much it really absorbs the glue but normally two coats does the trick All right guys, that's our new sole all nice and warm, reheated in the flash lamp. So we're just going to be sticking that on now. Alright guys, let's get groovy. So we're going to pop a groove all the way 360 degrees around the shoe. Because this is a 360 degree welted shoe, we're going to have to go around the whole shoe this time.
let's get the shoe stitched now. Right, time to get the pitch of the heel sorted. So obviously if we put it on right now, it's gonna be a bit of dodgy walking going on. So we're just gonna shape this heel at an angle and allow it to sit on a bit better. Job done. Let's get this stuck on now. Okay, so next step up is we're just going to trim this heel as it's overhanging quite a lot to the contour of the shoe. Alright guys, so we've trimmed the shoe down the contour of the shoe and it's quite rough at the moment so we're going to be doing this top of some sanding pads on here just to smooth out the leather on the sides and we're going to put in some polishes and creams just to add a bit of colour to it and a bit of shine.
All right, guys, so that's us done with another project. So these Sammy Windsors came out pretty nice, I have to say. We uh, ripped off the old soles that were there as they were starting to peel off and uh, causing a little bit of separation around the sides. And we popped on a new executive leather sole and a rubber leather combination heel. We also tidied up the sides, all the edging. We've changed it from the black color to a nice natural edge finish with a little bit of brown pigment in there. Just matches the uppers a little bit better, I would think. We also popped in some arc fudge in here and some fudge around the sides just to decorate the soles a little bit better with some brass nails as well. So yeah guys, as always, drop me a little comment, let me know what you think about the job. If you haven't already hit that like button, it helps other people see this. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Alright guys, until the next one, I've been Cobbler G, you've been Legends, peace!